Bye bye. Okay, so I had to get off the trampoline because they were jumping too much. So basically, my morning routine consists of um, Bible study, working out, taking a shower, just spending some um, alone time with myself before the kids get up and before the day just pretty much begins overall. Um, that goes on until basically 6.30. Around 6 o'clock, I'll wake up. Um, I'll wake up Jalen and Rico so that they can begin their morning routine. And basically, they move very slow. It was, I made it to where they were supposed to um, wake up, get dressed, make their beds, and kind of do like a morning chore. But most of the time, they, they move so slow, they can only get dressed and make up their bed which is totally fine with me because when we stick to our schedule um there's usually nothing to clean if we stick to our schedule so um sticking to our schedule basically the night before we'll leave them with no morning chores to do so that's my goal is to just stick with the schedule until then uh at 6 30 i start prepping school I'll get out the schoolwork, any supplies that I know we have to do for um, the day, and um, Jalen and Rico eat their breakfast. Um, if I haven't eaten breakfast by then, I'll eat breakfast. Ooh, I just stepped in the end bed. Oh, it's not active. It's empty. So, um, <laughs> if basically uh, they'll eat breakfast and then they'll do their personal care, which is basically brushing their teeth, washing their face, putting on deodorant, lotion, all that stuff. So, and then seven o'clock, I will make breakfast for the daycare kids because that's when my daycare opens. And then I will also start a load of laundry. Um, this is also the time that um, if Raquela isn't up by then, it is my goal to wake her up at this time. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So it just depends. So sometimes I wake up Raquela and then she'll start her morning routine, which is getting dressed, making her bed. I have to help her with that. Um, um, like I said, I'll start laundry. Jalen and Rico will do Bible at seven and Rico will begin his daily learning notebook which I showed you guys earlier. Um, 7.30 is basically um, me helping the little ones get fed, the daycare kids getting fed, and basically um, helping, checking the chores. If, they, if the kids did any chores that morning, checking them, making sure they did them right, made their bed right, making sure they pushed their drawers in for um, after they took their clothes out, stuff like that. Um, 7.30, Jalen and Rico both do handwriting um, Monday through Thursday. On Fridays, Jalen will do vocabulary and Rico will do typing at 7.30. Around this time, um, Raquel is eating breakfast, daycare kids are eating breakfast. 8 o'clock is when I assist the little ones, Raquel and the daycare kids with potty time. I'm changing diapers. Um, washing hands, cleaning up from breakfast, wiping faces, make sure everybody has their socks on because they love to take their shoes off by the end. Um, 7.30, oh no, we're on 8 o'clock. So 8 o'clock, that's when I'm assisting with diapers and potty time and all that stuff. 8 o'clock for Jalen, she starts her, she begins her teaching textbooks, with it, which is her math program that she does. And she does that for 45 minutes. Um, at 8 o'clock, Rico starts his language arts. And he does language arts Monday through Thursday. And then on Friday, he does vocabulary. Also, for potty time, I will also make sure Raquela brushes her teeth. Um, 8.30, circle time for the little ones. So the little ones at 8.30 are doing circle time while Jalen is finishing up her teaching textbook. She goes and she also does a little lesson on extra math, which is basically like timed speed drills for her. And she does extra math Monday through Thursday. And then on Friday, she will do typing instead. Uh, for Rico, he will swap 
Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, he will do history at 8.30 from 8.30 to 9. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, he'll do science. And so that brings us to, let's see, circle time. That brings us to 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock after circle time, my little ones have free play. So they're just playing and having a good time with each other. They all get along really well. Every once in a while, you'll hear some screaming because somebody's taking something. But other than that, they get along pretty well. So while they're doing their free play, I am speed cleaning the kitchen from breakfast time. Um, Jalen swaps every other day doing history and science. Rico will begin his teaching textbooks. 9.30, I will swap out the laundry while the little ones are dancing to music. I just put on some music for them for about 20, 30 minutes and they just dance, dance, dance. It takes a lot of their energy and it helps me out because I can get something done while they're dancing. Yeah. Hey, sweetie, what you got? <gasps> Thank you. Yeah, don't pick at it. Don't pick at it. We just bought that. <laughs> they're already tearing stuff up. Um, and so, and let's see, I'm at nine o'clock, clean the kitchen, 930, swap out laundry. So sorry guys, but my mind is all over the place. So at 930, I swap out laundry while they are doing their music time. Jalen does her language arts. Rico is finishing up teaching textbooks and begins his extra math. And his extra math is Monday through Friday. Um, 10 o'clock. I check diapers, fold laundry while the little ones are going to the potty and cleaning up basically whatever mess we made in the living room. Um, usually, sometimes Rico will help them clean up, but most of the time they're, they're now getting used to it where they can kind of clean up themselves. And so while they're cleaning, I'll fold a quick load of laundry. Jalen will work on reading every other day and spelling every other day um same for rico he alternates reading and spelling and then at 11 o'clock nope i skip 10 30 okay 10 30 i will begin lunch and dinner um usually dinner um if it's a crock pot meal this basically reminds me to go ahead and put what i need to in a slow cooker so that it can get started. And then I'll begin making lunch. The kids are pretty much done with homeschool by then, unless they there was something that I feel like they need to work on, or if it's something that they were not being diligent and they were taking their time, then they will work on their homework. Kids, little kids are basically doing outside time. And so what I do is, um, if, I am not out here if I'm trying to get lunch ready. Sometimes I'll send Jalen out here to kind of keep an eye on them while I throw something in the oven to heat up. Um, and I always keep my door open. I know Rico probably hates it because the air or the heat is on, but I always keep my door open so that even if I do need to run in or if one of them needs to go to the potty or if I need to grab some tissue, um, I usually leave the tissue either right on his table or somewhere or right there on the couch next to the thing so that way um i can kind of run back and forth today we're just having hamburgers for lunch so it's nothing i need to put on the stove and i really haven't decided what we're doing for dinner yet which i need to uh uh harley no 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 She's trying to steal trying to take the scooter <laughs> wait until she's finished okay harley <laughs> all right so um and that's 10 30. um 11 o'clock is when um i do like a quick cleanup like i said i'll probably send Jalen out here Jalen and rico are usually out here by then because that's their pe time and they're out here running around with the kids keeping them busy while i kind of go inside clean up the uh living room which is which is the room right there as soon as you go through the door um i'll just